So happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm Tom Strange, uh, Artistic Director for the Sigel Music Museum, and I am here at one of my favorite places in the universe. This is the Fine Arts Center in Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, the Fine Arts Center does some, some very wonderful things for talented students uh, in this area. And uh, my musicians are going to tell you a little bit more about that as we get into the program. Uh, I'm here with the director of the Fine Arts Center, V. Papat and V. I'm going to have you introduce the, the group here. These are some folks that uh, I've had at the museum playing uh, before. This is our first time together, but we are delighted to have you in Greenville. Thank you for being here, and thank you for, for picking up the reins for this. And I think, how cool is it that the new director is also a really great musician? So, V, if you will take it from here. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you to the uh, Segal Museum and for this awesome opportunity. Um, we're so pleased to be here. We don't have a name. We're just three guys who are uh, love music and play jazz and want to provide some healing powers uh, through our music. So we hope you enjoy this set. Uh, we picked some uh, tunes that we thought would be appropriate and, um, and we hope you enjoy it. I want to introduce, I don't need to because you all know him, but the maestro and director of the jazz program here at the uh, Fine Arts Center, Steve Watson on guitar. And uh, from the contemporary contemporary music, correct? Commercial music. Commercial music. Johnny Mann Center for commercial music. Boom. <laughs> Mr. Greg Elwine on the bass. Um, he's a wonderful musician, um, South Carolina native here, and uh, providing the, the time feel for us today. So uh, we're honored to, to play for you. Uh, socially distanced, as you can see, from the Fine Arts Center. Um, and we really hope you enjoy this set. Thank you for listening. We're going to start out with a tune that may be appropriate considering uh, the month of April that we had. Uh, the tune was written in 1942. Um, the lyrics convey nostalgia of uh, a better time and uh, certainly one that's ahead of us uh, for sure. It's called I'll Remember April. Thank you. 
Um, it's a pleasure to play uh, music that is historical. The standards are historical. If you study um, American jazz, you study American history, you study um, the struggles and the plight of the African American people. Um, there's significant contribution to this music, the contributions of people of all colors and races who've um, written music and performed it. This next one we're going to do is from 1964. Um, beautiful waltz called Emily. Um, written by Johnny Mercer and uh, I guess probably made most famous by Bill Evans, yeah. right? And Dexter Gordon, Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Paul Desmond, all really great musicians. Um, so we hope you enjoy Emily.
<laughs> Thank you. Just to say a few words about the Fine Arts Center jazz program. Uh, we have a morning jazz program, afternoon jazz program, the morning program being the beginners who don't know anything about jazz when they come in at the first year, and by the end of the first year they're improvising over Donnelly, and they're really working hard. They come into an afternoon program of combos, and our uh, 225 class has a concert series at the Peace Center, the Performing Arts here in Greenville, three concerts a year, uh, and Many of them go on to major schools, University of Miami, University of North Texas, uh, New School in Manhattan, and various other schools around the nation. So uh, we have a great time here promoting America's classical music, jazz. Good place to be. It is. <laughs> We're gonna play a little blues, right? Yeah. Uh, my famous bassist, Oscar Pettiford, this is called Blues in the Closet.
see us all smiling at one another and looking at one another and what the heck are they doing? Well, um, what we do is, like, the next tune we're going to do is, is bossa nova, so we're going to speak that language and try and communicate to one another uh, using a melody and a set of chord changes that makes up the harmony. And um, what we're doing as improvisers is we're using our knowledge of our instruments and the keys to compose on at this time, but it's not really improvised because you practice it a lot. And then you get here and you play with a bunch of guys and you look at one another and you nod and you communicate that way too. You communicate with your notes and your body language and and um, and then sometimes you make a mistake and you get yourself in a position when you're improvising and you gotta get yourself out of it. And that's, that's what makes it a lot of fun is um, it combines that classical knowledge of your instrument and the theoretical knowledge of jazz that Steve and Greg do such a good job of teaching with their students and and you get to go out and, you know, shake off the blues a little bit with some music. So I hope you're enjoying it. You want to introduce the next tune? Yeah, this is a great George Gershwin tune entitled It's Wonderful. And um, <clears throat> I've done a little reharmonization of the chord progression. Just we've added an intro. We changed some chords around just for, to add a little uh, more jazz color to, to what was originally written by George back in probably the early 30s, somewhere yeah. in that period. So this is wonderful.
It's the last word. <laughs> and that's always a bass player. Uh, so we have uh, one more for you. Again, want to thank uh, Tom Strange and the Signal Museum, all of our wonderful friends there who've done so much for Greenville. Um, Tom was our commencement speaker um, for our recent ceremony, uh, the first of the many uh, in Bonds course, and gave our kids a wonderful message. And we're grateful to him. Yes, and thank um, you. his wife Deborah, and all of our friends over at uh, at the museum. There's too many to count, and I'm probably going to leave someone out. But Dr. Flora, Tanya, the whole gang over there, thank you for your support of music in Greenville. Thank you to Steve, um, who has single-handedly built this program. Um, and if you haven't been to one of the kids' concerts, you need to come to one of the kids' concerts. And thank you to Greg for all he's doing his great work down in Anderson uh, in that program. And he, he loves to come up and work with our kids. And, play with us so um, 
We're going to do a tune that has an interesting history to it. Uh, 1926 was the original, um, I guess, composition date of this. Uh, really made famous by, I think, Miles yeah. uh, and, and Coltrane. Um, but it, the tune has traveled a lot and, and still is considered to be just part of the standard jazz material you'll hear at any, um, any jam session. We want to thank you for watching and uh, we want to uh, wish everybody a very safe, healthy, and happy summer. And, um, and thanks. And hopefully just keep music in your lives and keep that healing going on. We, we appreciate you. So, bye-bye, Blackman. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back.